Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? It's Sandy. Um, I got an email from one of the Yarnabees asking me some questions about, uh, I believe, the Cruella de Vil sweater. Okay. Um, she was a little bit confused on the starting chain. So I'm not entirely sure if she's getting two sweaters mixed up or what's happening. But it, it occurred to me that maybe somebody else out there is having issues as well. Okay, so I want to try and explain a little bit. With the Cruella de Vil sweater, you are measuring a chain, a, a starting chain that goes from your front all the way over your shoulder to your back. Okay, you're going all the way around your shoulder. Okay, so your starting chain, it doesn't matter how many you actually do, um, it because that's going to be your length. All right, so it it doesn't matter. You can do, you know, uh, seventy five chains, or you can do a hundred chains, or whatever. Right, it doesn't matter because you're going to do both sides are going to be exactly the same. So however many you chain on one side, you're going to chain on the other side, okay? And that both sides are going to be identical except for the color, okay? If you're doing any of my other sweaters, okay, you're doing the back and then you're doing the two sides, okay? So your starting chain for across your back, okay, you're going to be doing your starting chain is going to be going this way. All right. So in that case, you want to measure your body from one side to the other, or you can measure the front or you can measure across your bust so that you know that it's going to fit properly on the front. Okay. What I like to do is I'll measure it. I'll figure out the length. And then I'll chain to that length and try and land on an even number. Okay. So if, if your chain is say, I don't know, I'll just throw a number out there. Say it's 46 or 40. No, say, say you chained like 42 or whatever, round it up to the next, um, even number. Okay so that it gives you a little bit of extra room. But it's easier to split an even number in half, okay? Because that's what you're gonna be doing when you make the sides. So when you do the back, you go to an even number, cl the closest even number that you can to your measurement, all right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna split that piece, that back, in half. Okay, so you're going to measure right across to the halfway point. You're going to put a stitch marker right there. Now, what you can do is you can take your stitch mark, keep your stitch marker there, but move your stitch, say one stitch over so that you have a couple stitches in between. So when you do your two panels, you're going to have a little space for your neck. I'm hoping this is making a little bit of sense. Okay, so um, here, hang on. Let's just grab the Cruella sweater just for instance. Okay, say you're, say you're doing this as just a regular sweater and it's not the Cruella sweater. Okay, oops, it's upside down. So with this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure the whole back make it an even number and then you're going to put it in half right whatever that number is in half and then you're going to take your stitch marker and put it there then you're going to bring your stitches say over here instead there's still the same amount on both sides but then you have a little space in there so that when you do your collar Your collar's not going to be like this. It's going to be more like this. So it's not going to be like really tight on the back of your neck. You're going to, it's going to kind of come up and go across and then down. Okay. I hope that makes a bit more sense. Um, the Cruella DeVille sweater 
is, is totally different than any of the other sweaters that I've made. Uh, usually I do the back piece and then I split it um, in half. Then I, I take the stitches over one so I can make both the panels. Right with a Cruella Deville sweater, it's just two complete panels and then stitched up the back. That's it. So I hope that kind of makes a little bit more sense. I tried really hard to make it sound <laughs> easier on the videos, but I guess maybe maybe I didn't. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I will even do a Facebook Messenger uh, video chat with you and hopefully explain it a little bit better or guide you through it. I have no problems doing that. Um, I would actually really enjoy that. <laughs> so don't ever worry about trying to contact me and, um, you know, and, and bothering me or whatever. You're never a bother. So contact me, email me, however you want to contact me and, uh, and I'll help you the best I can. Okay. So thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.